So today I wanted to show you how to do something really basic that I feel everyone should have knowledge of, and that is to snuff a candle. So I know a lot of you, when I tell you to snuff your candles, you don't really understand exactly what it is. And many of you have been blowing your candle out, blowing out the energy, blowing out the spell. A lot of you even had have your candles um, blown out by other people. And I feel like when other people blow out your candle spells or knock them over or in any way mess with them and the energy and the light that's supposed to stay lit, they're messing with the spell. They're interfering with the energy that you're building up. They're interfering with your manifestations as well. So a really basic thing to do is to learn how to put your spells out. In between each session, like you may have to go to work, you may have stuff to do, family coming over, people you don't want in your business, so you'll put your work out. So not, I know a lot of you who have burnt up fingers because you're spitting, putting your fingers in your mouth, spitting, and then touching that wick. Or you're wetting your fingers and doing it. And after a while, that is going to really break down your the skin on your fingers. So I would tell you not to do that. If you don't have a snuffer, the one thing I would tell you to do is to get an old spoon that you can use all the time and you can snuff it out. You'll turn the spoon on the inside and you'll put it over the flame and you will snuff it out. When it comes down to um, glass encased candles, some of you may put a book over it. Some of you may still be blowing them out. And blowing out candles and not disposing them well, like throwing them in the garbage or not taking the wicks, the um, the wax to the crossroads or disposing it correctly will give you incorrect results. So I have a, I have a bunch of different size snuff snuffers. This is the longest one that I have. This one is about 14 inches. And I can easily just do like this. And I snuff it out. This will fit inside any candle, anything. And then what I do is I run hot water on it and it'll clean it off all the wax on the sides so anytime I have to do anything anytime I have to go anywhere in the event where I have to put out a bunch of lights that I have set or any kind of rituals and spells I'm working on I will snuff it out I will not blow it out I will not blow that energy away I will not break down all that energy that I put into something and then just blow it out like it's nothing and I saw one of you comment about blowing candles out for wishes like for your birthday and spell work two different things two different scenarios and you shouldn't be closely comparison them like that um when it comes to spell work and rituals you i've known this for the longest and even before i started building myself up and, and doing a, a lot of work i would never blow that candle out i respect the energy that i put into it i respect the energy around me that is putting into it as well so i will always snuff it out I mean, that's what snuffers are for. I'm going to leave a link for the snuffers. And I want you to carefully consider when you're going in between your spells what to do. You want to carefully snuff it out. The snuffer is going to put it out. Bam. And you're ready to go. This could fit inside any candle. This could be for any kind of candle ritual that you're doing. Any type. No matter what type of candle it is. Im image candles, stick candles, spell candles, chime candles. Any candles that you're doing, that is the purpose of it. So I want you to be careful when you're going in between. And I want you to also to consider how you're getting rid of your stuff. If you're throwing all your spells in the garbage, that is incorrect. You shouldn't put them in the garbage. They should go at a crossroads. And if there's no wax left, if there's little to no wax, you don't have to worry about that. Glass candles, recycle them. Simple. Clean them off and recycle them. If it is a situation where you did some heavy work, though, with those glass candles, then I will tell you to put them all in a bag or a box, wrap them really good, and take them to a crossroads. And take them to abandoned crossroads. Take them to crossroads where there's not a lot of people. You want to leave that energy somewhere, that's where you leave it. Like candles for destruction, candles to break up, candles to vanish, candles to hot foot. Yes, you want to necess you necessarily want to remove that energy out of your home and you want to place it somewhere in a crossroads. Any candle that you're dealing with, any ritual, you that's what you want to do. You don't want to blow it out. And you want to make sure that you dispose the energy in the correct place. If there's just a little, little bit of wax, it's not a lot, a lot of wax, you don't have to take that to a crossroads. You can wait and you can build it up. And then you can take it when you have a lot of wax and you leave it at the crossroads, wrap it up. Um, I know for many of you that are disposing jars and even like ammonia jars, you, you guys still email me and ask me that. I'm very clear and specific in the comments and in the ritual when I explain to you. Wrap it up and, and dispose it. You shouldn't have to open it. You shouldn't have to pour nothing out carefully. And if you can't get it and you don't understand it, don't do the spell. Don't do the ritual. 
If it becomes harder and harder for you to understand a video with directions, explaining every single thing on how to do it, then don't do it. If snuffing a candle is hard for you, don't do the ritual. And if you continue to put your stuff in the garbage, that is exactly the results you're going to get in the manifestations. Everything is going to be trash. Everything is going to be garbage. You're not going to get any good energy. How can you work a ritual for 21 days straight and then throw everything in the garbage? That means you didn't give a fuck about that ritual. You didn't give a fuck about the energy you was trying to build up. And it means that you're still not connecting to things in the right way. Because your ancestors wouldn't lead you to doing that. Do not put things in the trash. No. I don't care how big the trash is. I don't care. You don't put it in there. You want to leave it correctly at the right place. It's either um, a river, a, a, a lake, a crossroad, a abandoned area of space. Many of you will go to the graveyard for certain things. Dispose the work correctly. And I feel like once you learn to dispose things correctly, once you learn how to put out the work correctly and snuff it, I think it'll help you to understand things a little bit better. And it may help you get the results that you need. Like, subscribe, and stay blessed.